Now I've brought you a review already of the brand new 2024 S650 Mustang GT, but today right next to me, as you can see, I have a dark horse. And today I'm gonna to be explaining to you all the things that Ford has changed between the normal Mustang GT and the Mustang Dark Horse. I'm Aiden and you're watching God Next. Now, first thing we're gonna talk about is the powertrain and the engine of the Mustang Dark Horse compared to the normal GT. Now, the GT can kind of have two different power levels, and that's either gonna be 486 or 480, depending on if you get the active exhaust or not. 415 pound-feet of torque on the standard Mustang GT, but there is a power gain on the Dark Horse. This one makes 500 horsepower in 418 pound-feet of torque. That's a three pound-foot of torque gain and a 20 horsepower, or if you get the active exhaust, a 14 horsepower gain over the standard GT and you get 100 horsepower basically per liter because this is the Gen 4 Coyote 5 liter naturally aspirated V8 and as you can see now there's actually two intakes instead of one so you get this cooler looking engine under the hood. You also have Ford performance parts under here as well such as the K brace and the strut towers are also upgraded. Better handling, better rigidity. You also get strength and camshafts under the hood of the Dark Horse and you get a higher 7500 RPM redline not much higher but it's a teensy bit so you can rev up your mustang just a little more now let's talk about the stylistic changes ford has done to the outside of the dark horse compared to the normal mustang gt up front you do have a larger lip spoiler and a larger air pass through that way more air can go under the car improving aerodynamics and larger vents for additional cooling for the extra power that that five liter v8 is pushing out now on the side you get 19 inch rims still like you do on the mustang gt but these ones are different but what is really cool is is that you can actually option complete carbon fiber rims on the dark horse for those rims only weigh 20.1 pounds so basically a dumbbell at your local gym very easy to carry very light to improve weight of the car now of course on the side and on the hood there are a lot more decals and everything like that on the side instead of having the gt badge you actually have the dark horse badge right here instead of the gt one symbolizing that this one is a dark horse and these decals on the hood that say mustang dark horse in two different types of black tones so really really cool now on the back there's also a different spoiler as well now the normal mustang gt with the performance package has a spoiler but on the dark horse you get one that is a little bit of a different angle. That way there is improved downforce when you go ahead and take your dark horse out on a track. But overall, I think the outside changes make this car look quite a bit more aggressive. Now inside of the dark horse, let's talk about some of the changes Ford has done in here. Now, as standard, you get a six speed manual transmission, except now it isn't the MT82 from GetTrack. It's actually a six speed manual from Tremec. Now that is the standard transmission you get in the dark horse versus the standard one in the normal GT is going to be the MT82 and the Tremec is a far better transmission. Now, as you can see, I do have the 10 speed in this car with me today. This has been optioned on here. Both the GT and the Dark Horse can both get the 10 speed. But next to that, what you're gonna notice is in the last GT we did, it didn't have this brake right here. It actually had an automatic parking switch that you pulled up on, put the parking brake on, pushed down, and took it off. This one is the drift brake that Ford puts in. It is a option on the Mustang GT. You get it if you get the performance package, but it is standard on the Mustang Dark Horse. So yes, if you get one of these, you will be getting this brake right here. And it's a little weird to operate because you pull it up to turn it on. It's got a lot of feedback and force that pulls it back down, but to turn it off, you just push it down and it'll turn it off. Can be used as a parking brake as well, just in case you want that. Also on this car, when you go ahead and start it up, instead of it showing the must, regular Mustang logo, it shows the Dark Horse logo in the gauge cluster and it says Dark Horse in the infotainment screen, but both have the basic same Sync 4 layout that each one would have nothing different at all when it comes to that. Now there is one other thing you get on the inside of the Dark Horse that you don't get in the Mustang GT and that is going to be the Dark Horse placard on the dashboard that literally gives you the chassis number of your vehicle and it says Dark Horse on there. That way you can show off to all of your friends that you do have a Mustang Dark Horse. Now those are about all the things that Ford has done to the interior of this car. I just want to point out this mostly you get that better six speed manual transmission if you don't option the 10 speed on. All right now behind the Mustang Dark Horse right now the next thing I want to show you is is going to be the auto 
rev function that you can remote rev this car with on the key fob. Now there isn't a button on here that says rev your engine on it. So what you first have to do is actually remote start the vehicle. Every Mustang dark horse with an automatic transmission is gonna be able to do this. So all you do is press the lock button and then press the remote start button twice, just like on any other car. There you go. Now to ensure that you can hear me while I do this, the next thing you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be pressing the unlock and then the lock button in that order. So I'm gonna press unlock, then lock. It's gonna do something weird with the taillights or something like that, hold on. I got this before, don't worry about it. I'm, I promise it's gonna work. There it goes. And once you press the unlock and lock button, you don't have to do anything else. It'll start revving it for you. It did that all by itself. I didn't press this three times to get it to rev three times, but it's a really cool feature Ford has added to this car. And it's a great way to show off to anyone at car meets or just your friends. Now, as for the suspension on the Mustang Dark Horse, as standard, you're gonna be getting Magnarite suspension, which is an option on the typical GT. Now there is going to be another package you can get actually on the Dark Horse, and that is going to be the handling package, giving you stiffer suspension components. And it's also gonna be giving you stick your tires Pirelli Trofeos these ones are the P zeros instead but if you do get the handling package get better tires too and those are all the changes they've done to the dark horse over the typical GT if you're looking for a more track focused Mustang this is the one you should be getting and it starts around $59,000 which is quite a far away from the $41,000 starting price of the regular Mustang GT but $59,000 I don't think it's too bad. You get quite a bit of performance upgrades as well. So just remember that. If you guys like the video, make sure you hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more from us, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.